COVID was a huge disruptor. It changed the world, it changed me, it changed our company. But I felt that in this last masterclass, we wanted to do something fresh, different, insightful. So what I did is ask my team to ask me just 10 questions. And these are the ones. So for me, I felt that COVID was the huge disruptor. It changed our world. And that's an old cliche now. But the reality is we've been overloaded with information. We went searching for information online everywhere. So for me, it was this total overload. And I just felt that frankly, having 12 episodes was too much. And I felt 10 was a nice rounded number. And why did I think that is? Because I believe that the information I've given you already is enough to make you truly successful in whatever you want to do or be. I think my key learning has been to be or to become, you know, to have humility, to be humble. Because what I've seen is recognized tragedies, huge successes, but at the same time, frailties. You know, we've seen mental issues r arise. We've seen, you know, nervous breakdowns. We've seen all sorts of problems rather than painting it all black. But the reality has been, there's been some really tragic stories told. And I think we need to reflect and understand them and actually come out of it richer and stronger. So for me, humility has been a key point of reflection, personally. The second topic, I think, for me has been the idea of community. Why? Because I think we stand stronger together. And for me, that's been a very important topic because what I've seen is that suddenly, from one day to the next, the world changed and everybody was at a loss. We didn't want know what to do. And the one thing that we have is our collective consciousness, collective partnerships. So for me, standing strong together was really an important step to take. So reflecting on the last question, I think the key point that our brand faced was this total disruption to our day-to-day -day business. Because from one day to the next, the salon industry closed down pretty well globally. And so there was a huge fall in terms of revenue. That was a huge distraction. There was a lot of uncertainty. We, none of us knew how to go forwards. And then we had all the uncertainties of stuff. Were we going to survive? Would people be able to stay with the company? We had people, shall we say, falling ill, and we really did. And unfortunately, we even had some worse situations than that. So what did that mean? That meant having to come together and actually focus. And what we realized was that as a company, the same thing was happening to our industry as a whole. And what does one need to do as a strong supplier, as someone who believes strongly in the industry? We said we stand together. That was the most important thing, standing together. Community was the thing to focus on. So what we, one of the initiatives, for example, was that we created the first online 27 hour, shall we say, display of talent because we wanted to celebrate the best in hair. And that meant bringing the world's community together as one. We called it Hairdressers United. And we actually entered into the Guinness Book of Records as the longest 27 hour educational forum ever. And we literally started in Australia and it went through the day and it finished in Latin America. And in each situation, we had the world's best demonstrating their skills. Why? Because we wanted to show that hairdressing, even when salons were closed, talent, creativity, and skill still flourished. I think the industry has become more fragmented. I, and what do I mean by fragmented? I mean, I think there's lots of different now business models going on. And you saw in my last masterclasses, these two last masterclasses, that suddenly you've seen the rise of the independent hairdresser, the rise of home hairdressing. And effectively, it's a very difficult arena to, shall we say, manage as one. 
Whereas before, it was always very much, shall we say, a classical approach to hairdressing, the classical salon approach. Now we have rented chair booths, booth hairdressers, as we call it. Now we have home hairdressers to the fore. So I think really the importance for the industry is being able to come together and actually, again, celebrate what I call the best in hair. Because at the end of the day, what is the focus of our industry? Our focus on the industry is to provide great services to our clients that both enrich their lives and make them look and feel more beautiful. That must be the focus. Our focus is a must be on strengthening our partnership approach towards our hairdresser and to be able to celebrate the craftsmanship and the skill of the craftsman, i.e. the hairdresser. So how do we do that? Well, we do that by providing better support services. So really helping the hairdresser to become a better and more skilled person in terms of what they offer to their clients. How do we do that? Well, we do that by stronger services, more diverse brands, which can excite and provide the right solutions in terms of hair. And at the end of the day, providing the right levels of both physical as well as digital education, providing events that create real excitement. And what do I mean by that? Community gatherings where we are celebrating the true art and creativity in hair. And of course, we need to support our hairdresser with all the different business elements and marketing elements that enable them to embrace the world of the new normal. And some of that is quite frightening. Some of that, it needs to be rethought. Why? Because the world of digital has now come to the fore. So it means really providing a full service portfolio to enable our clients to be the hairdressers that they want to be. We want a need to come from a virtual world into a physical world. We need to be able to engage physically with our clients once again, because our industry so badly needs that. We are an industry which is face-to-face, person-to-person, whether that being the consumer in the salon with their hairdresser, whether it be us as suppliers visiting the salon, whether it's us as suppliers helping educate the salon, it's all about the physical. And for me, events are going to become increasingly important where we can actually re-engage and we can show the new world which we want to explore together. So, for example, next year we have a very exciting event planned, which I hope will bring our world, in it, our new world in its total entirety to life. For me, the most important thing is staying up to date, staying up to date with hair trends, staying up to date with new skills, staying up to date with the right products that deliver the right solutions for our clients. So that's, for me, the critical thing. In other words, con continue, continue, continue to educate and re-educate. Stay afloat, stay fresh, stay and keep it new. That's the important thing. Why? because at the end of the day, it's all about delivering a service beyond to our clients. I think the next step for the industry is to fully embrace the digital world in all its dimensions. Traditionally, all our model, business models have focused on, shall we say, the classic way to do business. I think, as I said before, COVID has been a huge disruptor, a huge disruptor. And that's changed a lot of things. And when we talk about disruption, that means we've got to find new ways of actually dialoguing and engaging both with our customers and with consumers at home. So this is the new norm. And for me, what does that mean? That means, and I'm sorry to use this horrible cliche, 24 seven engagement. We need to be able to talk to and engage with the client in the salon and also continue that dialogue at home in a different way whether that's been through messaging, whether that's through newsletters, whether that's just telephone communication, whatever, whatever. We need to actually make sure that that client stays loyal to our stylist, stays loyal to the salon. Why? Because the client is king. And for me, I know, again, this old adage, 
You lose a client and I tell you, before you know it, you've lost a business. I would love our brand to be the world number two. And why is that important? Because simply that's a cha- an internal challenge. It's a challenge that we take up and embrace. Why? Because we have the relevant products, the relevant service, and we have a beautiful business concept, a beautiful business concept. And frankly, we really stand for long-term partnership. When we say to our clients, we do business with you, we say you join our family. And I mean that because if you're successful, we're successful. You know what? I love this industry with all my heart. Why? Because it's about people, it's about creativity, it's about engagement, it's about community, and at the end of the day, it's about hair, great hair. And what is great hair for our clients? Because at the end, if you can change a client's perception of herself, if you can make her look and feel more beautiful, I can tell you now, you've changed the world. I want to thank you all for watching and being part of my little community, let's call it that. I hope my little bits of insights, my few tidbits, have given you the encouragement to go forwards. Because for me, what I've tried to express is what comes from my heart. And what I want you to be is more successful at what you do. So I hope that what I've given you is a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of enrichment that will enable you to be the person that you want to be. So I celebrate you, I celebrate your success, and thank you for watching.